Hey guys, alright, so in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create this really trippy and awesome looking pearlescent material using Octane Render. And it's actually going to be really, really easy to do. We're only going to be playing around with three different settings and adjusting some of the sliders to get some varied results. But this is going to be reminiscent of pearlescent paint jobs that we see on vehicles. Now, this paint job has actually been around for years. And um, basically, with this paint job, when you view this car from different angles, the colors actually start shifting. So we get that exact same uh, effect within Octane Render. So you'll see that with the garment over here, if I start moving my camera to a different angle, the colors actually start shifting. And uh, wherever there was blue just now, there's some orange there. So it's actually really trippy, uh, but it's also really simple to set up. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, so go ahead and bring any object into the scene that you want. You can even go ahead and create a sphere if that's the object you want to work with. I've got a sphere over here in my garment. Alright, so something I forgot to mention is that this material is also very similar to oil slicks. So if you go ahead, Google oil slick, you'll see that we've got all of these different shifts in color as well. And uh, yeah, let, let's actually create this material because that's why you guys are watching this tutorial in the first place. So go ahead, go to create shader and create a Cinema 4D Octane material. Open that up. Now, like I said in the beginning, we're only playing with three different uh, settings here, which is going to be roughness, the film width, and the film index. So roughness, to explain that briefly, this is going to control the amount of uh, roughness on your material. So it's going to determine uh, how rough or how shiny that material is going to be. So adjusting the slide over here by the float is going to give us some different results. But this is where the magic actually happens. It's the film width and the film index that's going to give us that result that you saw in the beginning of this video. So if I go back to my browser over here and I go to the documentation, the foam width, uh, according to Octane, it says this controls the thickness of an optical thin foam on the material and this is useful in creating rainbow, rainbow or oil slick effects. So just like I said over here, definitely resembles an oil slick effect. Uh, but for me also it resembles pearlescent paint because it's got that color shifting property to it. And then the film index controls the index of refraction of the thin film. All right, so I'm going to go back into Cinema 4D. Now, how I basically set that th this up is my film index, I brought this all the way to 1. So I'm actually going to drag, okay, this material is dragged on my garment over here. And if you see something different over here, this is actually the normal map for this garment. You don't have to worry about that, guys. Okay, so put your film index on 1, and then your film width, if we play around with this, we're still not going to see anything. And that's because we need to go to the diffuse. So actually, it's four sliders, guys. <laughs> My bad. It's not three. We're playing with the diffuse as well. I'm going to bring this all the way to black. And we're going to start seeing some of these color shifts in you already. So by the roughness, you can see it's really, really glossy right now. So it's extremely shiny and maybe this is an effect that you guys are going for. So you saw immediately when I started rotating around this, the color started shifting here. So now we can start seeing some purples and oranges and yellows that start popping in, which looks really trippy. But you'll see that if I play with the roughness over here, it's actually going to reveal more of that underlying color as well. And it's not going to make it as glossy as it was before. But now if we just go back to film width and we start playing with the slider, you'll see that we get some really crazy, crazy color combinations over here uh, that we can use. And this is basically how simple it is to set up, guys. So you can see over there now we've got some greens and pinks and yellows in the mixture. And it's starting to look really crazy, really trippy and psychedelic like that pearlescent paint. So it's just basically film, film index on one, the film, and you just play around with the film width. And then you want to make sure if you want to get the best results, uh, you want to put that on black. Now, you guys are probably not seeing this color exactly the same as mine right now. And uh, I actually didn't mention that on purpose because I want to show you guys what else is in the scene that's making these colors pop so much. So I'm going to go ahead and make this window a little bit smaller and just close our material over here. If I zoom out, I've actually got five octane lights in the scene. Now, the lighting is going to play a really important role in capturing this information. If I go ahead and turn off all of the lights, which you guys, well, probably if you didn't add any lights in the scene, <laughs> this is probably what you're still going to be seeing on your screen, right? 
uh, just a black garment so you can see over here I started by adding a top light right then I added some lights on the side and now you can see by enabling those lights it starts bringing in all of this color I put one in the front and one at the back as well to capture some rim lighting so having these lights in your scene in these positions is really important and I've gone ahead to all of these lights and I've uh, basically went to visibil visibility and I turned the camera visibility off so that I don't see them in my scene over here so you can see how important it is to have the correct lighting in your scene as well uh, to work with this material so if you want these colors to pop and be really visible make sure that you place in uh, enough lighting in your scene I felt that uh, having my light in place like this one on top so this, this one's actually not directly above uh, but having a light on top the front back and on the side uh, actually gave me some interesting results so it really is that simple to set up this material and if you wanted to you could go back to the diffuse uh, maybe I would also uh, I highly recommend always put in if you're gonna put maybe a different color instead of black still keep it quite dark so you can see even that was still a bit too light keep it quite dark we can still add some color on top of that so maybe let's just move a, a dark red and you can see that we still have those shifts in color uh, that's happening over there so really really fun to play with uh, it gives you some some really really interesting results and it's so easy to set up you can see now we've got the blue back over there but we still have these color shifts on our material as well so yeah guys it really is it is that easy to set up okay all right guys so we're done that's how you set up that material if you wanted to you could actually animate this material so whether you're working with a garment or whatever object you could actually have that animating in the scene so if you came into float and you clicked on the circle to uh, place a keyframe and maybe I went to 50 and I'm gonna bring this all the way to 1 and place another keyframe you'll see if I go back to 0 and click on play it's going to start shifting in color and it's going to look super trippy uh, like you just took uh, some pills or you went on an acid trip and you've got this <laughs> color changing garment right so like I said really simple to do go ahead have fun with this play around with the sliders and now you know how to set this up and get these uh, effects with octane render and yeah feel free to show me some results and have fun with the material guys and as always thank you so much for supporting me and watching my tutorials. Stay tuned for some more tutorials and goodbye.